Oh, welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode. Here you can see we're actually not even on the FIFA screen at the moment. We are in my Photoshop where I edit these videos. I went ahead and pretty much played every single game in December. I, I either played them or I simmed. I think I simmed two of them. I played every game in December off camera, off recording, but I did record. I just didn't speak over it. So I'm going to go ahead and let's just play out these highlights for now. Now, obviously, in the actual part, this will be more. It wouldn't be as blurry as this. I just wanted to show you out that for a quick second. But first up, we had Southampton, which Harrison Steele took a 1-0 lead in the 17th minute. But later on in the second half, Milano actually gets the luckiest bounce I've ever seen in my life. And he goes ahead and rebounds to make it 1-1. That game will end 1-1. So we get a draw against Southampton. We move on to the Europa League, where pretty much I think a draw would put us top of the table. And make us not have to play preliminary round, in which we went ahead and got a dominant win over Helsinki. They were, they were the worst team in our group. They actually got one back kind of early on, but then we went straight back, got it back up to 3 1 with Harrison still scoring in the first half. And I think at some point we go at 4 1 and we go ahead and just quick sim it and win 5 1. And we top our group coming in first. Leo will make it out in second. AZ and Helsinki go ahead and get knocked down. Oh, that's actually a beautiful ball. Norwich up next. We go ahead and take a 1 0 lead. Simon Hoffman, the main man. In our team, he goes ahead and takes an early lead for Nor for not Norwich for for Wayfield over Norwich, and then just as this is like just bad defending, it's literally one nil for the whole entire game until I come up and then Escobar for Norwich go ahead and equalizes it to make it one one. Now I am I have loan listed a couple players that have not been getting game time. Somebody in the comments told me to do so, so I did. I am thinking about kind of lifting the the no big regen and look at that goal from Austin Villa. But I am lift, looking to lift that no no big name regen because it's honestly getting to a point where I don't like my midfield. I don't like Moyano. I'm starting to really not like more on it. That was a beautiful ball over to Hoffman in which he puts us away to level it up against Austin Villa in the first half. But yeah, I'm starting not to like Moriano. He's just not performing well. As well as Vargas. Vargas is kind of iffy. Jacobs as a cam is iffy as well. Hoffman is just our main man. We were down to 10 men here after a poor challenge. I don't know why I didn't put that in the editing. But it was a poor challenge. And we got down to 10 men. This cross right there to put us up 3-1. That will give us a firm win over Austin Villa. And possibly, I think it was one of our first wins in a long time to be honest. We have been struggling in the league. We went from a top four side, a, actually a Europa league side to getting into a cow and uh, get into a relegation battle again like the first season i went ahead and quick sim this game against man city because i thought i was going to lose we ended up winning 2-1 so we get a little bit of ea luck there next up is the cowbell cup against nottingham forest and obviously one of the objectives is to get into the final or actually win a domestic cup and we had to do that by getting through Nottingham Forest. The kit cash got on my nerves, so we went ahead and just started quick simming it. We ended up going up 3-0, and then I ended up just jumping to a result and which see it a 3-0 win. We are now in the semifinals. Y'all see who we play in a second. Arsenal, Chelsea, and Brentford to end the month off and end the calendar year off in which Arsenal go ahead and take a 1-0 lead early on but we come back late in the end of the game and go ahead and equalize again with Hoffman he's been our main man he is looking like he's going to be the one to be the top goal scorer of the Premier League again and I think we actually go ahead and nick a win here with Moyano as much as I talk about not liking him still just gets enough space for Moyano to run in behind him we play it over to him and Moyano slots it away and we go ahead and win 2-1 there next up Chelsea another big six club I wasn't going to play big six clubs but was in a position where we kind of had to be and we are getting scored on I don't think I think the AI knows I'm trying to do outside of the box goals because they have been scoring some absolute bangers here it is 1-0 for Chelsea it's a beautiful goal from distance but then Simon Hoffman, the, just being Simon Hoffman, he's going to go ahead and slot it down. A low shot, getting past the tall keeper, not being able to get on the ground as quickly as he probably would like. But Simon Hoffman, go ahead and equalize it to make it 1-1. One, one. Now, I did do a poll on YouTube saying about the 
Hoffman goes ahead and scores again to take the lead over Chelsea. I did do a poll on YouTube saying about lifting the no regen clause. That was kind of astounding. No again. And Chelsea go ahead and equalizes again in the last second. So we go ahead and bottle another win in the last kick of the game again this this little month of December that I went ahead and played through. But a majority of the votes said no, but I'm still looking to overrule that and actually do it and at least not do it consistently. But maybe one or two players here and there we bring in that might be a big name regen, like a Conte regen, like a um uh what else? A Modric regen. I'm I was looking at Modric's regen He's actually in my transfer hub right now. And Hoffman, I think that was the outside of the box goal. We did score outside of the box goal. And then in typical fashion, we can't have an episode without a controller disconnect to right before scoring a goal in which Hoffman goes ahead and put it away. Hoffman was the main man for this. He went ahead and put it away. We was up 3-1 there. And that goes ahead and see us now all the way over here in January where we have Man United in the Cowboy Cup semifinal. Bournemouth in the FA Cup, but as you can see here, 1-1 one, one draw, a 5-1 one win, a 1-1 one, one draw, a 3-2 win, a 2-1 win, a 3-0 win in the Cup, 2-1 against Arsenal, 2-2 two, two against Chelsea, and then 3-1 against Brentford. I was going to go ahead and continue with this episode into January, but we are already uh, kind of a bit far inside the episode. We are now up to 10th. I think we started that at what 14th or 15th something like that we started that really low in the Premier League we're now up to 10th and in fact we're only seven points off a top four spot so it is very tight towards the top and realistically we're 16 points off first place Man City which isn't that crazy to think about but it's definitely not on our objective we do go ahead and skip the preliminary rounds of the Europa League so we get lucky in that regard and in fact any big teams in the Europa League I actually haven't checked this yet Liverpool get knocked down to Europa League AC Milan get knocked down so we'll go ahead and see what happens with that we will obviously play one of these teams I'm hoping for either somebody like I can't play Leo, I don't think. Somebody like Marseille. Hopefully, Liverpool get knocked out to Maritimo. That would be insane. Lugano. Honestly, I think a lot of these teams that you recognize here are going to win this game. I think it's going to be a straightforward for that. So, we'll go ahead and see that. Now, when we come back next episode, I know this episode was technically short. I haven't really played any games, but you did get coverage of the games I did play in that month of December. We have $257 million to spend because if you remember, we went, ahead, we went ahead and sold a couple of players. We sold Barnett for $39.5 million to Manchester City. We sold John Frazier to Leicester City for $27.5 million. Cardoso got, got, went ahead and got sold for 3.7, and then Blanco got sold for 8.5. And like I said, this team right here, Mortano, I kind of want him to go. I don't really like my back, too. Obviously, my left back, Young, is still out for another four months, so we're kind of stuck with Han. I'm going to have to just suck that one up. And honestly, he's probably been doing the best out of the whole back line. We have a couple of options on the bench. Now, Mosqueda, I don't know who the regen is for him. I'll check their birthdays in a second. Warrior, he's actually a Saliba pregen. So I'm honestly perfectly fine to sign him because he's not a regen. I can sign pregens. Um, but somebody like him, I believe he's a Conte regen. This guy is just some English dude. This guy is Modric's regen. This guy is, it might be somebody's regen. Maybe, maybe. Actually, I don't know whose region that would be. I could check the birthdays. And then Shoals as well. Now, none of these players have played for me before, so I am also able to do that. But we'll see what happens next episode when I record it in literally five minutes' time. But if you did enjoy this one, go ahead and leave a like. I know it's a different style video. I will see you all for next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.